What's up everybody? 915 Mang here doing a video today. It's been a while and like what I've been doing is probably pretty much nothing. I've been kind of busy as you can see um, really haven't had too much time to mess around with the tank. You know besides feeding the tank, topping off the water, uh, the protein skimmer collection cup says it all. But I hope you guys have been doing good. Hope your tanks are doing well. I see you guys are busy. Um, I do watch your videos. And I do follow a lot of you guys on Instagram. So thanks for reaching out. And seeing if I was all good. I have been messing around on the bike. Hitting up these trails. Uh, getting up to this point right here. Is actually kind of a workout. Because of you know it's going uphill. Uh, right here you do get to still pedal around but it, it does take you down the hill so for those of you who like mountain biking uh this is just an introductory of what i'm doing and uh, i like to get into it more serious later on and i also like to do a bike upgrade uh here in the new near future hopefully but it is a lot of fun i typically crash at least once or twice every single time i go out riding um I've crashed into bushes, some cactus, got a uh, pedal strike, hit some rocks on my pedal, and uh, scooted forward. But it's a lot of fun, guys. So let me know of uh, many of you guys out there who uh, go riding and stuff. But let's go ahead and get into the tank, and let's do a update on this uh, frag tank. Now, I do want to say that for this video, I am using a Note 9. I wanted to see how good the quality is before. I did have the Apple's iPhone 7 Plus, a um, little bit older phone. It was good, but I didn't like that the update killed my battery. Um, and I had the biggest phone hard drive on there, which was a 256. So I went with the Note this time. I switched over to Android. And uh, let's go ahead and see how the video quality is. Now, I am recording this over my frag tank. This is an acrylic tank. That I got from my buddy Matt and um, as you can see I got a ton of bubble algae because I really haven't been uh, messing around with the tank too much I did have some emerald crabs and the emerald crabs were doing great um, but when I switched over for some reason they uh, disappeared and uh, another thing that I want to let get up in my cleanup crew is the harlequin shrimp um, I've had a hard time finding it here locally um, and even online I really couldn't find the harlequin shrimp. I did find one online, but it was like 40 something bucks. And then on top of that is shipping. Um, I should have jumped on that with my buddy Enrique, but uh, who also bought the 180. And uh, once he gets it set up, we'll get some videos rolling on that beast right there. But for now in this frag tank, uh, I'm still gonna keep it. The system though, I am gonna break it down. Uh, what I mean by that is I have a uh, the frag tank. I'm going to break down the tank below it, which is a 40-gallon breeder. So if you're local and you want that 40-gallon breeder, hit me up because uh, I'll sell it to you for 40 bucks. Let's do a quick right-side view of the 150. This tank is a SCA Aquarium's 150-gallon, uh, 24 on the side, 60 on the front, and... Uh, 20 something on the bottom to the top uh, so far with this tank I do like it but a lot of you have asked me recommendations on if you if I would recommend this tank and I would still recommend this tank but I would highly uh, let you know that this tank is not perfect it does come with some imperfections and I'm gonna do a video on that uh, a little bit later on I have had this tank uh, for a couple months now, still looks good. Um, I haven't scratched a glass or anything like that. But uh, I will do an update video for you guys on the tank, the tank build, tank quality, and my thoughts of it later on. Um, I didn't get a break. You know, I didn't get this tank for free or anything like that. So uh, guess what? I'm going to tell you guys what I think in that video. Now, so far, the corals are doing good you know I have had some corals reach out and kill each other because I just put the corals too close um, it goes from one day to the next I'm like 
okay, I'll go ahead and move that, that coral away. It's too close to that coral. And the next day, when I want to move it, it's dead. This other leather that I have here is doing pretty good. It's fully open. At first, when I got it, it wasn't doing so hot. But you couldn't tell now because it is fully open. It's doing well. Um, this coral, scroll coral right here is doing good, purple. And uh, some of these other pieces right here are doing well, like the chalices. Um, I got quite a few that I have to keep an eye on. Um, sometimes they get tipped over. I did buy some more frag plugs, um, and I'm going to glue them, glue them down so that way they don't tip over so easy. Um, there is a little bit of cyano in this tank. I still haven't hooked up my algae turf scrubber. Um, I need to do that. I'll get that done this week. Um, and the reason why I haven't done it is because I need to break down that 40 gallon uh, breeder underneath that frag tank and get it going like that because I have a bunch of live rock in my sump that I want to transfer over once I get the new system going on. What am I talking about the new system? I have a 25 gallon innovative marine lagoon tank and I'm going to be using that and then I'm also going to be using the frag tank that I showed you at the beginning. So let's go ahead and do some top down shots of the 150 as you can see i got wall-to-wall -wall corals from one end to the other this tank is jam-packed with corals uh, and sometimes it's a little bit difficult to keep an eye and keep track of corals because i have so many one problem in this tank is these anemones i need to go ahead and get these anemones out of my tank um, i'll probably hit up alan or the coral reef and see if uh, I can get some store credit or something for these anemones. I'd much rather have him uh, have them and sell them to somebody if he'd like to. Um, corals, SPS, doing okay. Uh, everything is, has white tips. Um, these red digi monoporas are doing really well. I have a lot of pieces that I've accidentally broke off and uh, I just have them laying down. Uh, the last video I said I was going to glue down a whole bunch of stuff. Still haven't done it. Um, just haven't done it, man. You know how it goes. Uh, I'm going to get to it. I bought a whole bunch of super glue. And I'm going to use that super glue and attach it to the rocks. Kind of clean up the scape a little bit. Um, pink bird nest. I did have some issues with the pink bird's nest bleaching. Um, but everything else is doing okay. Um, it didn't bleach all the way. It did bleach like tiny bits. And other than that, it was okay. Um, some of the other SPS are killing the SPS below because they're growing on top. And they're shading the other SPS on the bottom. Um, some of them are doing okay and surviving and some of them are not. I do want to talk about my uh, frog spawn though. However, uh, I broke it on accident and it was growing huge. It was a really, really nice piece. And I broke a little piece on accident. Still have a bunch. It could be considered a colony. That's how big it is. And um, probably going to glue that or see about selling it locally. Now let's talk about some of the problems I'm having with this tank. Uh, I am having the problems still with Asterina, Starfish. Uh, some of you guys were like, oh, my Elephases are okay and they're harmless. but uh, I'm here to tell you that they are harmless. Some of my nice pallies and zoas have been disappearing. Uh, and I blame it because of my, uh, my, those Asterina starfish. Every time I see them, I go ahead and get the tongs and tweezers and pull them out of the tank, throw them in a trash can, uh, because I hate those little starfish. Um, they do eat, like, seem to like my expensive zoas and pallies. Um, some of those zoas and pallies, people could say that they would melt. But uh, I think it's because of the uh, Asterinas because a lot of my other nice pallies are still around. It's just those Asterinas. So what I'm going to do is I'm really going to find pit a priority on uh, those uh, Harlequin shrimp and pick some up if I can find some. Luckily for me though, I haven't had that problem in my uh, frag tank, knock on wood. Uh, just mainly in the 150, I'll see them. Early in the morning, late at night, and that's when I go ahead and scoop those starfish out and throw them away. Uh, check out this tank. I'm going to go ahead and give you a normal view. I did want to give you a top-down view. 
I haven't done a top-down view since the uh, last video and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it normal and see the difference right here uh, this Tongo branch right here is still full of those uh, daisy polyps which I still hate I just haven't uh, went to work or start peeling them off or anything like that um, I do have like some frags of that stuff in my frag tank but uh, other than that I'm probably gonna make some more because I don't want to just throw them away now my green slimer here is doing really good if you look back at the last video you could see that they had tiny little nubs but now these nubs are turning into pretty big branches and everything's doing well uh, this is a coral that I would highly recommend seems like a beginner coral and it looks really cool because it does some dark greens and it grows really well has some different growth patterns as you can see the candy canes are doing well they're really bright green puffy uh, I like them I haven't really been target feeding my tank too much I have been using uh, the acro power and the other day my buddy Javier uh, Javier has a little nano um, tank from Innovator Marine well, he's breaking it down, so he was able to bring me some uh, fuel, and I went ahead and used some fuel, uh, which is like amino acids and other things that your corals can take in a lot easier than, you know, some of the powdery foods. So Not only that, but he did also bring me right there some Space Invader because I killed my last Space Invader, and the last Space Invader that I had was doing really, really well. He hooked me up. I killed it. He was able to get some more Space Invader and uh, it's going to grow good and once he gets his tank back up I'll be able to hook him back up with the piece of that, with the colony of that and then he also gave me some Acans to watch for him while his tank is down and so I told him sure you know I'll take your tank, I'll take your uh, you know your Acans and whatever coral you don't want and I'll take care of it in my tank. But Javier is also the same dude that brought me some corals over. And then, uh, actually, he brought me some beer. And then I just traded him some corals for it. And it was pretty cool. You know, the first time I ever did that. But So shout out to Javier. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the Aptasia that I got going on. I'm going to get you guys, um, get the Aptasia. I'm probably going to look into getting, like, a fish. But every thing is still doing well in my tank a little bit dirty here and there but haven't killed anything I do want to mention real quick uh, my powder blue that I that I had I had ick he was eating but then I just couldn't find him anymore it disappeared I couldn't even find where he died at to get him out of the tank and it's been a while since then but other than that guys I, w I do want to show you this uh, US Army Blackhawk helicopter it's gonna make a touchdown right here at a football game uh, I was kicking back at the football game because my kids are in band and I get to uh, enjoy their performances but the Blackhawk here was actually gonna make a touchdown and deliver the game balls for the football game uh, which is the first time that I've seen it and luckily I have my camera here so I could go ahead and record it and it was pretty cool man so big shout out to the Army Aviators, the crewmen uh, who are flying around delivering footballs to this game. This was an awesome game, by the way. It's a good game. And uh, as you can see, they're going to be stepping out here shortly with a backpack and dropping off some balls. I was telling the uh, wife that uh, you could see the soldier standing on the sideline with a radio. I didn't know why he had a radio until I saw the Black Hawk approaching and uh, delivering the ball. But we'll get some more videos rolling out on this YouTube for you guys to check out, give you some more updates. Um, for sure going to be documenting the new tank build, which is the 25-gallon Innovator Marine tank along with the 25-gallon acrylic tank. Um, I had a stand custom made by my buddy Matt, which I'm going to go ahead and try to pick it up this week. So that way I can give you an update on it this next week coming out on our regular scheduled time, which is uh, Sunday. Uh, and we'll start rolling into that. And then also 
I'm going to give you, still do this series with the algae turf scrubber from Santa Monica Filtration. I got the biggest rain that they have out available right now. And we're going to be doing that. I know my tank will greatly benefit from that. And uh, if you want to see more than that, you can check out some old videos where I actually have the algae turf scrubber. So shout out to you guys. Thanks for hanging around, following up, asking me how I've been doing. Doing good. We'll get back on the ball, so to speak, and we'll get some more videos going out. So you guys take care, like and subscribe, and you guys have a good one.